Hello, maestros. This episode, I'll be showing you how to become the master of your spreadsheets. And I'm going to start off by hitting F10 to show you what we got. All right, so we got some key value pairs, and it's just going in and putting in the values, searching for the little keys, the little, little headers, and then just puts it in. Whenever it hits a new header or the new key, it just puts it in like so. And the question is, do you wish to possess this kind of power? Well, if you do, keep on watching. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's head over to Keyboard Maestro. Before I start with this macro, I'm gonna talk about what it what makes it special. The first being the little text item delimiters here. And since uh, we're using this, since each of our little little blocks is very variable, changes, we don't always have um, little va values for our keys. And we also have new key value pairs, you know, new headers. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tackle each line or we're going to tackle this line by line and we're going to use the little colon here as the separator to separate our line into its individual little chunks. The name being the first chunk and the second, the uh, John Smith being the second chunk. And we're going to do that by using the, the colon here and uh, Apple script calls it the text item delimiters here. And then what also what makes it special is the little end here where I'm adding when I'm pulling the list or when I'm setting, when I'm sending the current clipboard to the list variable, I'm including the end colon end at the end so that when, um, so that when the repeat or the until action reaches the last line in our little, in our data here, it will, or when it reaches the last line of the data in the variable, it will come across the end and then exit out because then the variable, the key value, will contain n. So then it just stops. And then it'll just do a clean up here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first variable here that I need is the count, and we're going to use that to keep track of what line we are currently on, like the little first line, one, two, and three, and so forth. And next is loop variable. We're using that to keep track of what column we are working in. And then we're going to activate uh, text editor here. And then we're going to go control or uh, command all to select all. And then we're going to copy. And then we'll take that copy, send it to our list with our end at the end. Then we'll activate the uh, Google Chrome or whatever spreadsheet you're using. And then here is our first part where we're going to pull some values and pull some keys. Not too complicated. We're going to set our first variable to, we're going to clear it, setting our variable, the key to nothing and our the value to nothing as well. Then we're going to send those variables to Apple script here. And this is our first line of code. We're just setting the, the we're going to send the list. So this whole chunk, and then we're just going to pull the first, the C, which is the count, which is currently set at one. So it's going to par pull paragraph one. So this whole thing in that, and we're just going to pull just the first line. And then we're going to use our colon, set our colon as the separator or our text item delimiter. And then we're going to pull our first chunk and send that chunk to app, uh, send it to keyboard maestro, do our second chunk, and then send that to keyboard maestro as well. Now, before we move on, we actually have to uh, get rid of one of the characters because our values here have a little space in the beginning. So we don't want that to affect our final output. So we're just going to get a, subst a substring of that variable the value. And we're just going to delete two. So we delete that very first variable or very first character. All right. Next is our is the if then to deal with empty values. So we've got some empty little uh, values and whenever it comes across an uh, empty value it's just going to set it to a single space otherwise when we actually perform the action it will paste in the previous thing that's in the clipboard and we don't want that we want to just paste it in nothing all right this is our core of uh, the core process that we are doing 
in our spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheet application. So we're first we're going to copy and send that copy to our temp variable. Now we're using copy so we can keep track of whether or not something is new. So the process is pretty simple. So we pretend we're here and we want to um, search for the key um, test. If the test is there, it will go there. But if it's not, if I escape, it will go back to phone. So I copy once before I find. So, and then I copy again after I find. So if I actually go to address here and I go escape, it'll actually go there. So I'll copy again. If the first copy and the second copy match up, then the header or the key doesn't exist. And then it's going to perform the insert. So let me recap. Copy, send that copy to our variable, search, pause for a second, uh, insert our thing that we're searching, escape, copy again, send that to our temp variable, and then set an if then to test if the temp1 is temp2, then it's going to perform our sweet insert. Go home, go command home, go all the way to the top, go up one more time because we're working with headers, and then go all the way to the right, to the the, to the cell right before an empty cell, then actually go right again to the empty cell, and then paste in. Very nice. Next is to enter our value, and this is where we're using the loop like before, and we're arrowing down to the current column that we're in, and then paste in that value. And then that's pretty much all it, and we're just going to set the count to uh, set the calculation or set the variable the count to calculation of itself plus one so that we're adding one so that it knows to go to the next line now if the key if it hits this little line here then the key will be empty so this is an if then so the, if the key is not empty we'll perform this but if it is empty all it's going to do is just set the loop to plus one to move to the next column and then the count to plus one so that it moves to the next line. Pretty nice. So it repeats that until it reaches the end and then it cleans up since it actually executes the end uh, the end pair as well. So it's control so it's control space to select the column, delete and Hit the up arrow to deselect the whole thing. <gasps> Whoa, that's pretty beautiful. Yep. So I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna head on out while that's playing. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yep, that's how you become the master of your spreadsheets. I know there's a lot more things that you can do, a lot more complicated things, but it's pretty much the gist of it, using the copy, the find, the arrow keys, navigating to things, boom, 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 and then you're the master. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.